Hi, in this video, I will cover how can we build uh, build conditions based on the spot value, but take trades based on futures or take trades in futures uh, instruments. Yeah. So in order to do uh, something like that, where we check conditions on spot, we will first have to make a custom list of our own. Uh, so in order to make your custom list, just go to the three dots and click on add. When you click on add, you can uh, give it any name. Like I'll just call my uh, list as India underscore list. And in this list, I will now select my exchange. Now do make sure that the exchange that you select here is dependent on the trade that you want to take. If you want to trade in futures and options, then you will select NFO. If you want to select, uh, if you want to trade in cash segment, then you will select NSE. So this is one uh, one clear uh, demarcation point that you need to make. Since I want to trade in futures, I'll select NFO. Now in my underlying, I'll select an instrument. Uh, I'll You can select any number of instruments, but I'll just select uh, HDFC Bank uh, as one instrument to just show you. And you can add any number of instruments. Um, then you can just click on save. So once you save, uh, this India list has been generated in your account and HDFC Bank will be one instrument within that list. Now, if you want to fetch that particular list uh, or you want to fetch uh, the, spot, uh, the spot value of that list, so you can just use a keyword called LTP. Let's say if I want to fetch the LTP and you can select the instrument name. Now in instrument name, uh, there is a drop down wherein you can select your exchange. So since I want to trade in uh, in future and options, but I want my conditions to be checked based on spot, I will first select NFO only. After selecting NFO, I will now select my list name. So my list name called India list is right here. So I'll select India list. Now I'll select OK. Uh, uh, do note that I had left all the other all of these fields were left blank. This uh, uh, the uh, the expiry, the the option call or put, and the offsets have all been left blank. And I will just select OK. Now uh, I'll do the same for my uh, position uh, keyword. I'll again select NFO, and I'll select my list name, which will be at the bottom, and I will click on OK. Now that I have defined these uh, as NFO and India list, I'll just submit, and I will close this. Now you have to add your position builder. So uh, since you you want to take trades based on uh, based on future and options, you first need to select the list that you were uh, originally uh, talking about. So since I was talking about my India list, I'll select my list out here, uh, and you can do this uh, before uh, before uh, building the conditions as well. It doesn't really make a difference. Just select uh, the positions. Now in positions, you'll see that this exchange has been locked as NFO. It you cannot change this. So do remember that if you see uh, if you ever see that the exchange is locked. This is probably because you're selecting the list out here. Once you deselect the list, your exchange uh, will 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 come as a drop down. So uh, since I want to trade in futures, I'll just select futures and I'll select one lot in current month expiry and I'll click on add. Sorry, I'll select current month expiry and I'll click on update. Now that I have my current month expiry, uh, my strategy will now check conditions on HDFC Bank spot. Uh, but it will take trades in futures. Similarly, if I want to take trades in call or put options, I can just select the relevant option from here and it will automatically trigger trades in the call or put option as needed. Uh, and you can select buy or sell whatever as for your need. Now, let's talk about uh, uh, a different use case scenario. How can we check conditions based on the next month futures? So let's say currently if we are in uh, February, and uh, February month futures will be 20, uh, 23rd of February Thursday. But let's say if I want to check conditions based on March futures um, and take trades based on the current month futures. So that can also be done. So just let me show you. So in your uh, in your instrument name, you just uh, select. Uh, uh, this is a little bit tricky. So do do pay attention that you will select. You will select uh, NFO out here and then you will first deselect the list. You will now select something called Nifty 50. So I'll select Nifty 50, not the list, just NFO Nifty 50. When you select NFO Nifty 50, you will get a drop down out here in the expiry uh, expiry FX. So in my expiry, since I want to select the uh, the next month, which is the March uh, expiry, because currently February is going on, I'll select current month. And in current month, I'll select my offset as number one. So offset as zero would be current month, which is February. 1 would be March, 2 would be April and so on. So since I want to check conditions based on March futures, I'll select plus 1 out here and I'll select OK. Now, after this, after this, 
I will again go to my nifty uh, 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 nifty uh, 50 selection and I'll remove the selection uh, because we didn't want to trade based on nifty 50 we wanted the trade based on our list which is India list so I'll just select my India list out here and I will click on okay so now you can see that uh, you have built a condition wherein your LTP will be checked based on HDFC bank next month futures but your trade will happen based on current month futures. So this kind of a thing is also possible. You can also go to the next to next month futures as well provided uh, the liquidity and the data feed for the same is uh, active. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the same thing again quickly where I will select uh, uh, the same for my, uh, for my uh, position keyword. So I'll just first deselect the list that I had already selected. I will now uh, first look for Nifty 50. After selecting Nifty 50, it will give me a drop down and I can select current month. I'll select my current month offset and I will now remove the selection of Nifty 50 and I will select my India list again. And after that, I'll click on OK. So this step needs to be done if you want to uh, check the uh, check the uh, check the conditions in the next month futures. Do ignore the above conditions. This is just a, a demonstration video that I'm doing. And uh, I'll click on submit. And after that, you can see that uh, you can now trade in uh, based on the next month uh, next month uh, uh, conditions. You can also change the same for the uh, for the uh, position window. So let's say if I want to trade also based on the next month futures, I'll just select FX. And in FX, I'll select current month expiry. After selecting current month expiry, I'll just select uh, an instrument. So uh, since I know that uh, the next month expiry for Nifty would uh, would be let's say um, the the twenty uh, the the March expiry, February and March expiry. So I will just select Nifty. I will not select the list out here. So uh, do not select a list in the expiry uh, FX. Uh, it it may give you trouble. So just select an instrument where you know that the expiry date will be the same. So I'll just select uh, Nifty 50 because Nifty 50 as an instrument has a monthly expiry on the last Thursday uh, and all the stocks uh, and stock futures also expire on, expire on the same day. So I'll select Nifty 50 out here and I'll select uh, plus one and then it's expiring and I'll click on submit. Now I will close this and you can see my position builder is ready. So this way I can select the next month expiry for my condition checking and my trades can also be done based on the next month expiry. On a side note, if you want to check conditions based on the current month futures, you can directly do so without doing the, without having the hassle of uh, of selecting Nifty 50 first and the current month. You can just click on the keyword that you're talking about. Let's say I'm selecting LTP. So in LTP, instead of instrument name, just select futures. So futures by default will give you the current month futures. So after selecting futures, you can just click on this drop down and you can select the relevant instrument. Like in my case, it was uh, India list. So I can see my India list is out here. I'll just select my India list. So now this India list will give me HDFC bank futures for the February expiry. So I can do the same for my position keyword. Uh, in position instead of uh, instrument name, I basically select futures and futures by default gives me the current month futures. So again, I will uh, select my India list out here and I'm good to go. So I hope uh, this video on this subject helped you. If you uh, if you need more such videos from us, you can uh, you can drop a request in the comments below and also like, comment and subscribe to this video as it helps us a lot. Thank you very much.